Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. For today's video, I am going to be chatting with you guys about a line from the house of Burberry, and that is going to be the Burberry Her line. I have a full size of the original Burberry Her, and I just wanted to share my thoughts on some of the flankers. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Amy. I do videos on fragrance, beauty, skincare, body care, self-care, all of that. If you like that type of content, then please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so that you are notified whenever I upload a new video, which is usually Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And if you are a returning subscriber, how are you guys doing? Thank you for being here. I am so, so happy to have you here with me today and I appreciate all of the love and support from each and every single one of you guys. And with that said, let's go ahead and let's get started with today's video. So I have been wanting to do this video for a while, but I had to order a few samples because I only own the original one and you guys will see why as we talk about this fragrance. I did go on eBay and I ordered this really nice pack of, um, it came wrapped like this and it is just pretty much all of the Burberry Her flankers. Here I have Burberry Her Intense, I have Burberry Her Blossom, and I have Burberry Her London Dream. I really like the London Dream bottle and I love the Intense bottle so much. So Burberry Hurt. The main accords for the original Burberry Hurt are fruity, sweet, woody, powdery, and musky. The top notes are strawberry, raspberry, blackberry, sour cherry, blackcurrant, mandarin, orange, lemon. Middle notes are violet and jasmine and the base notes are musk, vanilla, oak moss, cashmere, woody notes, amber, and patchouli. This fragrance, I am so in love with this fragrance. Many people say that this is a dupe for Baccarat Rouge 540. And honestly, I don't see that. I kind of see like a similar vibe, but this for me goes so much towards the strawberry direction and it's just its own vibe. I don't really consider it a dupe, but many people do. And this one, this one to me is like a strawberry powdery almost bubblegummy type of fragrance it's very like flirty to me very innocent i don't feel like this is a sexy fragrance i feel like this is perfect for every day even though you can go out on a date with this and you will smell so good and i'm pretty sure that he won't stop sniffing you because it's like this scent that you just want to keep on smelling i absolutely love the original one this one it has a little bit of powderiness to it not too much the strawberry is so strong and it's not too sweet for me it is just the perfect amount of sweetness the perfect amount of like this airiness and freshness to it and it just smells amazing i love this one now I'm gonna go ahead and read you the main accords for the intense version. It is fruity, amber, sweet, warm, spicy, and fresh. The top notes are red fruit and blackberry, middle notes are jasmine, and the base note is benzoin. So I don't own a full size bottle of this because I strongly disliked the intense version, but I'm gonna give it a try again on my skin today because we never know, our senses, change and maybe that day i just wasn't in the mood for this fragrance but i will say that i have a very hard time with benzoin so for this fragrance to only have benzoin as as the base of it i think is what made me dislike it so much because i got like that sticky not sticky because i love sticky sweet this just had like a sweetness to it that made my stomach just I got sick it, it made my stomach turn and i couldn't handle it so i'm gonna go ahead and spray it and i'll see what i think about it today hmm. 
right away I'm getting kind of like almost like a powderiness to it. Okay, so it's definitely a little bit more intense. I don't get strawberry in this one. Uh, this one has red berries and blackberry. Okay, so today is much better than the first time that I smelled the intense version. The first time that I smelled the intense version, I was actually at the military base at the PX and they have these samples out and I just sprayed it on my skin and I could not take it. But today, today is a different day. I would have to see how it dries down but the benzoin is not really bothering me today the way that it usually does. And I get the blackberry in this one, so this one feels like a little bit deeper. It's not as playful as the original one. It still has that same vibe, so you could definitely tell that it is a flanker. It has the same DNA as Burberry hair. It's actually very nice today. I'm not getting that it's starting to creep through that benzoin so if you're very sensitive to benzoin definitely pick up a sample of this wear it try it out before you get it i feel like this one is just so easy for anyone to like it i've, I've seen a few people mention that they don't like this fragrance but it's very very few i feel like this fragrance is very liked it's a crowd pleaser it's easy to like the intense version that benzoin might give some people problems it could get a little bit too medicinal it's like this sweet weird scent to describe i can i can tell when there's been a lot of benzoin in a fragrance because i just get this sick feeling immediately after smelling it but today i'm picking up more of the the blackberry and the jasmine so i might have to play with this one more now i feel like i should have waited to do this video i was ready to come in and say you know i don't like this one but it's not bad today i'm gonna spray it again let me make sure that they put yes okay make sure that i'm spraying the right sample the opening is stronger a little alcoholy almost like peppery even though there's no pepper in the notes yeah i definitely get the red fruits and the blackberry and it is nice that opening is really nice Ooh, okay a little deeper a little more intense as the name suggests less there's no strawberry in this one let's this one to me is less of that girly fun flirty feeling this one's a little bit more alluring and a little more like deep and a little more a little darker okay the next one is Burberry Her Blossom, and this one is Floral Fresh Musky Citrus Rose and Powdery. The top notes are Mandarin Orange and Pink Pepper, middle notes are Peony and Plum Blossom, and the base notes are Musk and Sandalwood. So this one I have never smelled. I'm going to give you my first impression. I'm going to put it over here. Ooh, that is very pretty and I immediately immediately get the peony so it's supposed to open with mandarin orange I get that as well so I get mandarin orange the pink pepper is fresh and the peony it is gorgeous I really like this one it's very girly it also reminds me a little bit of something that I've smelled like from Bath and Body Works don't they have one called like sweet peony or something like that very girly i think this would make a great gift for a teenager who's starting to wear fragrance who wants something bright something girly innocent 
very fresh and nice smelling it reminds me of coach floral which i had to get rid of because i got a headache from that one but i don't feel like this one would give me a headache this one smells delicate very innocent girly and fun and perfect for a younger girl it also gives me like shampoo vibes like you just took a shower very fruity and fresh and floral but not strong floral like a very um delicate floral and let's do the last one which is burberry her london dream the notes for this one are rose floral fresh citrus warm spicy musky amber and powdery the top notes ginger and lemon oh i'm excited middle notes are peony and rose and the base notes are musk and amber what do you guys think this is going to smell like I have never smelled this one so this is like a fun first impressions type of video instead of a review Ooh, i don't know if i like the ginger mixed with the lemon it's like a ginger mixed with like um mr clean type of product but as it starts to dry down let's see i think the peony and the rose are coming through oh, and the amber and the musk okay so the dry down is much better than the opening the opening is borderline horrendous but it only lasts two three seconds and then everything kind of starts you know coming through and you get like the citrusy fresh version of burberry her so you have the ginger that makes it a little bit fresh and spicy with the lemon just makes it super bright and like fresh but then the rose it's almost the same effect that you get in valentino uh yellow dream where you have that lemon mixed with the rose you kind of get that vibe in this one it's very nice it's a little bit softer it's not as strong as the valentino one but they kind of remind me of each other it's really good it's a brighter scent uh also for every day so i would classify the entire line as an everyday type of fragrance but the intense one i think could be worn more towards the evening i feel like if you have the original one the flankers do have really nice differences if you want to give those other ones a try they're not super similar to each other the dna is there but the notes that they chose are very unique and different this isn't a beast mode type of line it's more a skin scent type of line and yeah and the longevity on the burberry her on me i would say is moderate longevity so the ones that I've never worn, I can't really speak on the longevity for those, but so that is my quick video on the Burberry Her line. Later down the road, I might pick up some flankers. I will definitely let you guys know, but that is going to be it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you own the Burberry Her or any of the flankers and which ones you like better. If you like it if you don't like it i love hearing it all subscribe if you haven't subscribed and i will see you guys in my next video